you can definitely hit the bestseller charts for a new book the first week it's out. There's a marketing tactic that can make hitting the bestseller charts even easier, and you can use it well after your book comes out. This tactic is known as a price promo, where you cut the Kindle version of your book to just 99 cents for a limited time and reach a lot of readers during that period. Amazon bestseller calculations are based on order count and recency, not price. A sale for 99 cents equals one for $9.99. KDP Selects, Kindle Unlimited Books can be ordered for $0 additional over customers, flat monthly fee. And you can keep a 70% royalty on the 99 cent promo for seven days, four times a year in the US and UK. A 99 cent promo for a KDP Select book known as a countdown deal can lift your book high up the bestseller charts. You can start running these 30 days after your book is launched. You should determine a five day promo window for your 99 cent book. During the window, you should use your email list and social media accounts to promote the deal, plus two other tools, deal sites and BookBub ads. When you're running a price promo, you want to create a sales crescendo with promotional reach increasing daily from day one through five. Various sites email readers daily about discounted books in genres they like. You can buy a one-day mention in these emails. BookBub, the biggest deal site, also lets you run display ads at the bottom of their emails. In general, deal sites can be extremely effective during a 99 cent promo window with BookBub by far having the largest potential to get your book high up the bestseller charts. BookBub display ads can also really help drive sales during a promo window. Deal sites have selectivity and schedule requirements. You want to rank them based on promotional reach for your genre, then contact them from top to bottom and reserve promo dates. The sites with bigger reach should have later dates during the five day window so you can achieve a sales crescendo. Let's say you're able to put together a list of deal sites that collectively can appeal to 100,000 readers. On day one, you book promos that appeal to 5,000 readers, day two, 10,000, then 15,000, 20,000, and finally on day five, 50,000. When you're booking promos, the ratios do not need to exactly fall this way. However, in general, you should go for rising reach across the five days. In addition to getting on deal sites, you can run BookBub display ads. If so, you're going to want a crescendo effect for those as well. Here's an example for a $1,500 budget. On day one, you could spend $100 on ads. This daily figure would go up through the week, ending at $500 on day five. Same concept for email. For instance, if you had 10,000 subscribers on your email list on day one through four, you can send emails to an increasing number of recipients. And then on day five, send a follow-up email to anybody who did not click the four emails sent previously. During promo week, you should also consider posting on social media to let people know your book is 99 cents. Social media does not offer a straightforward way to crescendo up daily reach, but you still should try to get a message out during all five days of your promo window. An example might be announcing the book is 99 cents on day one, reminding people on day two, including a review quote, day three, a video of you discussing the book on day four, and then on day five, letting people know the deal is ending soon. Here's how all of this will hopefully come together during the five day period, leading to a lot of sales on day five, in addition to a good amount of sales on the days leading up to five. Though you can run these countdown deals up to four times a year for any book, 
of a book is selling well at full price, dropping it to 99 cents may not be the right choice. So don't feel obligated to use four of these a year. Countdown deals often work great for releases from over a year ago, which can use a marketing boost. If you happen to run multiple countdown deals a year for multiple books, be selective about which promos you invest money in and market to your audience. Paying for access to certain deal sites can be a bit expensive. Depending on how large of a budget you have for advertising, you might want to be careful about investing a lot of money up front in deal sites if you're not going to be making back that money until later on. When it comes to marketing your deals to your email list and social media followers, if you're constantly sending them messages about 99 cent deals, they may start tuning out these messages on social media. The majority of an author's posts should be offering information or entertainment for free and not asking people for any money, even 99 cents. You definitely can run multiple countdown deals a year for multiple books but you do not necessarily have to tell your email list and social media followers about everyone. Instead, focus on a few deals a year that you think can be promising, invest money into them, and market them to your audience.